What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, what I have for you guys is a SPL meter. Now, this is a current new digital backlit SPL meter, which is fantastic because a lot of us home theater users, such as myself, want to measure the sound level in our home theaters in a dimly lit room. And it's nice to not have to look in the dark and turn all these lights on just to see the meter. So it's nice that this one's backlit. But not only that, guys, having an SPL meter handy is great when you can go outside, go in a building, go in various locations all over the world, and you're curious to how loud it is, you know, because you're conscious about our ears sometimes. This is a pretty cool device. So I want to unbox it and demonstrate it in my own home theater for you guys. This is a very inexpensive one as well, and it's got a lot of great features, which I want to show you. So now, you know... SPL decibel meters and me have been together a very long time. Now you hardcore home theater users know the old school analog Radio Shack SPL meter has been very handy for, for, for me for a long time and I'm sure you guys as well. And we always keep it on the C weighted, C weighted meter, of course slow, and get the accurate meter uh, and sound of your home theater when you're testing your speakers and doing some like test tones and calibrations and things like that. So it's very, very good. But now having a digital one with a backlit meter and numbers is just a little more convenient and a little more modern. So I'm excited to check this out and show you guys. So let's get this unboxed, show you what's inside and do a test in my own home theater to see what it looks like. And of course, guys, for my Raft Gang Nation, you will get an exclusive discount code in the description below to give yourself another discount on this piece. Now, handheld sound level meter. Side of the box, back of the box, side, and then of course we have no, so we're just gonna open it up. Got the user manual on top. Nice thick book with various languages. Ooh. Well, that's uh that's mighty fine, guys. Very nice. Take this out here. There we go. And look at that. They give you a carrying case. Nice cloth carrying case. Top tests. So put this in when you're not using it. Very nice. And of course, three AAA batteries, name brand, in fact. Wow. So on the back here, you got a little battery cover. Flip that up. There's your battery compartment. And you want to use it, take the cover off. And boom, there is your microphone meter right there. Very nice. You have a sticker here to cover up the three, the three inch screen there. Yeah, let's get these batteries in and uh, turn it on. Very easy to put the batteries in. Make sure they're all in nice. Compartment back. Take this off here. Always satisfying. Very easy to operate, guys. Just hold the power button down. And there we are. As you can see, it's already measuring my voice. And if you want the backlit to turn on, just hold the, the, the backlit button. And boom, you're backlit. Very nice and bright, which is very good. So instead of fast, oop, instead of fast, we want to put on the slow. So there's your slow, and then we want to make sure we're on the C and not the A, uh, which, there we go. So we hold this button down and switch between the A and C. All right, so we're C weighted now and on slow mode. That's what we want to do for uh, the home theater testing. So that being said, guys, I'm going to bring this over to the home theater. And we'll just do some uh, testing of the speakers. Check. 
Check. Look at that. Instantaneous. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, so we're in the theater now, and I'm about to go to the uh, speaker level testing menu. So I have the top test sound meter here, and I'm going to turn it on. Just hold the power button down. Just like that. Make sure we're in the slow mode and the C mode, just like that. And then to turn on the LEDs, just hold on the light, and boom. All right, so that's all good. So now I'm going to turn on the, uh, the volume here. One thing I would suggest now, it is a handheld, and you're just supposed to take it out whenever you want. But if you really want to get really accurate uh, me uh, measuring for a home theater environment, uh, it would be nice to have some kind of uh, a tripod screw to uh, really lock it in. Otherwise, just find a, um, an arm that has clamps and then clamp it down because you don't want to be holding this while measuring to get more accuracy. But anyway, let's uh, turn on the volume and see where we're at. So as you can see, guys, it's very accurate, just like the old school analog Radio Shack one is. It's right there alongside, so accuracy is definitely there and just a lot more convenient. So for home theater guys, you want to make sure you keep all the test tones the same. Right, so you just go down the list and make sure all your speakers are the same. So this is a great tool for home theater users to dial in your speakers to the same volume. So guys, great addition to home theater, very inexpensive and accurate and very, very cool device that I would highly recommend. Check it out, top tests, sound meter, backlit, awesome.